Before we hear from the Jonas Brothers, there are four guest speakers here to say a few words about our honorees. Our first speakers are the co-founders and chief executives of Republic Records. Part of the Universal Music Group family, Republic is home to everyone from Ariana Grande and Drake to Post Malone, Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, and of course our honorees, the Jonas Brothers. Most recently, Republic was named Billboard's Label of the Year for 2022 and six out of the past eight years. More importantly, they are devout philanthropists who support a myriad of worthy causes. Plus, they're quite possibly the biggest Jonas Brothers fans here today. And if you didn't guess, they're also brothers. Please welcome Monty and Avery Lippman. That is correct, we are brothers, and we have many similarities with the Jonas Brothers. We're loving husbands to our wives, devoted fathers to our children, incredibly loyal to our colleagues, raised in the great state of New Jersey. And, and that, my friends, are where the similarities end. <laughs> that is true, Avery stands correct. It's these brothers behind me that continue to shape popular culture with the millions of adoring fans around the world. We are here today to induct the Jonas Brothers into the Hollywood Walk of Fame. For Monty and me, this moment takes on an even greater importance as these sidewalks hold a special place in our lives. Early in the 1970s, we actually at attended Cherimoya Elementary School, which is right around here, I think, uh, just about six blocks from here. Our mom would take us up and down Hollywood Boulevard and we'd make a list of how many celebrities we recognized. We would talk about these stars and would imagine what it's like to be part of Hollywood magic. So fast forward 50 years and we're here with the incredible Jonas Brothers. Being inducted in the Hollywood Walk of Fame is greater than the dozens of platinum records you've scored in your career. You're being recognized as individuals who continue to inspire millions of people by sharing joy and happiness with your music but you also rise to the occasion and always answer the call of humanity by making the world a better place through your artistry and charitable efforts. And for that, we respect and love you dearly. All right, no more brother jokes. Republic co-president Wendy Goldstein, I see you, Wendy, yeah. called us about five years ago and said, the Jonas Brothers are going back in the studio and want to make a new album. For us, this is when happiness begins. <laughs> Not only did the band deliver the biggest track of their career with the amazing Ryan Tedder, listen to this, they became the first group in the 21st century to debut at number one on the Hot 100 with the global smash, Sucker. The song also became the longest running number one record of the year launching the top-selling debut album as well. So the brothers are a band that continue to defy gravity and elevate everyone around them. Our goal has always been to respect what this team has built before our alliance and continue to add to the band's legacy. Their management team, including Phil McIntyre, John Taylor, and Greg Garbowski, are fiercely competitive, determined, and the most loyal partners imaginable. Even before we got involved, the Jonas Brothers were already a cultural institution. We simply were in the right place at the right time with like-minded goals and ambitions. And together, we joined forces along with Wendy and Gary Spangler, Miles Beard, Joe Carroza, Meg Harkins, and Jim Rappo leading the charge on behalf of Republic Records as we continue to sail into uncharted waters together. So from one set of brothers to another, enjoy this moment, and on behalf of your Republic Records family, congratulations on this incredible recognition. We're so excited for the next chapter of your extraordinary career, and we love you guys. Peace. Welcome to the stage, 
Ryan Tedder. As the uh, official bonus Jonas, uh, as I was referred to, I just want to start this off. Everybody, I think, can agree with me in the crowd. I think the Joe Bros got gypped. I see one star and three brothers and endless amounts of sidewalk. I know we're in, we're in a recession. That's really what this is, isn't it? Okay. Um, I was honored to be brought back into the fold or into the fold for the first time. The first time I met the Joe Bros, uh, we shared a green room together. I think it was a jingle ball or something, AMAs, something. And I was busy with, with One Republic trying to build that, get it going. And I had no, con I knew they were big, but I had no concept how big. We're talking and I say, uh, so what are you guys doing next? They go, oh, we're, we're going to Mexico City. I was like, oh, what are you doing down there? I was like, uh, I, think, I think we're playing a stadium. And I was like, literally lost my mind. And I, I literally Googled you guys in the green room. I knew who you were, obviously, but I was following them and realized they had the biggest army of devoted fans of anyone I'd ever been in a room with. So on that note, when Wendy Goldstein, um, who I think is one of the best sets of ears in the music industry and ears matter, when she called me, round of applause for Wendy Goldstein, first of all. The first label meeting I took with One Republic was her at Capitol. She said, you got nice songs. See you in two years. Go do the work. <laughs> she called me and she said, we're being very quiet. You can't talk about this, but we just signed the Jonas Brothers. They're coming back. Are you? She said, are you? She didn't finish the sentence. I said, yes, I'm in. I'm there. <laughs> Sign me up. And then I handed her a handful of songs. And she goes, this song sucker. I think this is the one. And then that cut to us spending a lot of time together, traveling to the Caribbean and writing together. And we've had endless memories together, seeing them on tour. It's been incredible for me to watch. Nobody's more deserved. These guys are, in 20 years of making records, the most professional, most thoughtful, and consistent band I've ever worked with. Um, I could talk for, for 10 minutes, I know I have to go because we have other people coming up here. Uh, but I do want to go on record as saying that uh, their popcorn robs, backstage popcorn. Let's get it. They're not gonna plug it, so I'm gonna plug it. If you have not had that shit, it is the best popcorn I have ever had. Get with the program. All you people watching at home, get it. Love you guys, congrats. Please welcome to the stage, John Bellion. How's it going? <laughs> Nervous as shit. So let me just let me just stand. So the Jonas Brothers called me three days ago, and they locked in with me on Facetime. So when the Joe Bros call, you pick up the FaceTime. And uh, so I picked it up, and they, I didn't tell them this yet, but I had a 10-piece from Mickey D's strewn across my stomach <laughs> watching Bravo with my wife, uh, below deck, Mediterranean. So they asked me to comment on 20 years of excellence, and they didn't know that the chicken nuggets were right beyond the phone. And I said, are you sure I'm qualified to even speak on these guys right here in 20 years of excellence? So obviously I said yes, and I started to think about the idea of celebrity and what that is and, and, and what comes with that and the walk of fame and what that kind of brings about and what this country and what this world glorifies as celebrity. So I started to stack all the statistics, I'm thinking about Ryan's, okay, number one. So I'm thinking about 20,000 fans showing up to shows. I'm thinking about selling out stadiums. I'm thinking about all this different stuff, but it wasn't particularly moving me in a way that I said, what really moved me about these guys? What really impressed me and really put it over the edge for me to say, I need to work for these guys and give everything I have on this next album just because I need to serve somebody worth serving, somebody worth being on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So as far as celebrities and, and what we tend to glorify, I think what's, what I'm proud to stand up in front of wherever this is streaming or going and saying what I represent is 
three dudes who, when I see their families interacting, and I see their wives, and I see their children that are happy, and I see the work that they've done to remain a band, and the craziness that is Disney Channel, that is everything that comes with all the stuff, to see the poise that they've maintained, to see the fans that they're so dedicated to, to show up and say, hey, we're thinking about the fans. We're not thinking about the number ones. We're not thinking about the label. We're not thinking about any of this stuff. We are brand new artists because we have to serve our fans and keep them interested because we love them. I said, man, I got to work for these guys. So I don't know what we can announce and what we can't announce and what we can't say, but... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm going to let them say, say that. On the backs of Republic, one of the best labels in the world, and Ryan Tedder, one of the greatest producer writers of all time, and the Jonas Brothers, one of the greatest acts, boy bands, bands, music, musicians of all time, I guess the only thing I can confidently say is these are some cold motherfuckers and the music is crazy. So... Jones Brothers. <laughs> I'd like to present a beautiful resolution on behalf of the city of Los Angeles. We now declare today the Jonas Brothers in Hollywood. It's now time to hear from our honorees. Let's hear it, again. Let's hear it for the newest Walk of Famers, the Jonas Brothers. Wow, overwhelmed. Uh, so I'm gonna read off a of paper because it's a lot. We are honored to be standing here today to receive the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This is a testament to the love and support of our fans, our family, and our friends who have been with us every step of the way. Thank you to everyone that has shown up and even flown in for this moment. We are so grateful to everyone who has made this possible from our label, to our management, to the media, and of course, most importantly, our fans. You have been the driving force behind everything we do, and we could not have done this without you. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But first, Danielle, my beautiful wife. I love you so much. I could not have done this without you. Your support over the last 15 years, you've seen us through all of it. The beginning, the middle, the end, and then back again. Thank you for everything. Alina Valentina. This is a pretty cool moment, don't you think? Yeah? Well, I will be honest, this is cool, but you too are my brightest stars. So I love you and thank you. Oh, and uh, to Joe and Nick. Couldn't have been here without you, so I love you. This is pretty awesome, so thank you. Okay. Hello, hello. This journey has been a wild ride, and we are so grateful to have the opportunity to share this passion for, of music for so long with the world. We've been through many ups and downs, but through it all, we have remained brothers and have stayed true to our passion for music. We would like to take a moment to thank our parents for their unwavering support and love. They have always been our biggest cheerleaders and have been with us every step of the way. To my little ones at home, daddy loves you to the moon and back. Sophie, what up, homie? You're my partner in crime. You keep me motivated and inspired every day. I strive to be as cool as you. And uh, you, got, you got any plans after this? <laughs> Kevin and Nick. 
I love you like brothers. <laughs> Honestly, this has been an amazing ride, and uh, heck, we'll be here in 30 more years because this is just the beginning. Hello, hello. I'm going to start with mom, dad. Uh, we love you so much. We would literally not be here without you. So thank you. And Franklin, Jonas. We love you. We're so grateful you're here. Uh, to my beautiful wife, uh, you are... You are the, the, the calm and the crazy, the rock in the storm, and I love being married to you. It is the greatest gift, and I love being a parent with you. So, Malti Marie, hi, babe. I can't wait to come back here with you in 15 years and embarrass you in front of your friends. <laughs> uh, Phil McIntyre and our entire management team. None of this happens without you believing in us from the beginning. Uh, so thank you for everything, and I can't wait for this next chapter. Monty, Avery, Wendy, the entire Republic team, thank you for your belief in us and, and making Republic Records the absolute uh, most wonderful home for us. Uh, we are so grateful to all of you. Appreciate it. Uh, John and Ryan, thanks for your words. Making music uh, is cool, but making music with people you love and you care about is that much cooler. So thank you, guys. Uh, Greg, Jack, John, day one, uh, you became family, and to see you you're here with us today is really meaningful to all of us. Uh, Kevin, Joe, <laughs> um, I don't want to get emotional. We can do that later, but I love you guys very much, and I'm, I'm glad that, that that day we decided not to do this anymore, that we changed our minds to, together. <laughs> um, and to all the shoulders that we've been lucky enough to ride on in our work and our personal relationships, some of you that are here today, thank you. You're all giants in your own way, and we are so grateful to have your support and your love, and uh, care about all of you very much. Uh, and finally, to our amazing fans, those of you that are here today and watching uh, online, you are, you are family, and we, we love you, and we're so thankful for your support. You know, it's, it's nice to, to reflect on this nearly 20-year journey and to commemorate it here today. Um, but we're looking towards the future and, and what's coming next. So with that, with that, I think that we should make a quick announcement. Uh, we are excited to announce today that our new album, The Album, will be coming out May 5th. And we can't wait to see you on tour later this year. Thank you all so yeah, much. Thank you, everybody. We did it. We did it. We got it. <laughs> Let's hear it again for the Jonas Brothers. It's now time to unveil the star. The Jonas Brothers.